Hello! This will be a demonstration of Proposition 23 from Book 5 of Euclid's Elements, which says that if there be three magnitudes and another three magnitudes, which taken two and two together are in the same ratio or are proportional, and if this proportion be perturbed, they will also be proportional x equality. What we're then given is three magnitudes a, b, and c, and another three magnitudes d, e, and f, such that a is to b just as e is to f, and also b is to c just as d is to e. So unlike the previous proposition where the proportion was unperturbed, let's say, um, the proportion here is perturbed. And what that's going to mean is that um, instead of, excuse me, yeah, so, so instead of E being in like the middle here, right, it's going to be on the extremities. But nonetheless, what we're going to prove is that uh, A is to C just as D is to F X I quality. So again, going through the equal, uh, so going through the equal between A, B, and C, the common term is B, so we're going to go through that. And the common term between these two ratios, D, E, and F, is the E, so we're going to go through that and compare D and F. So we're ultimately going to say that A is to C, just as D is to F. We're going to begin by taking equal multiples of A, B, and D, and we're going to call these multiples G, H, and K, so that the multiple that G is of A, H will be of B, and K will be of D. And other equal multiples of C, E, and F, respectively, we're going to call these L, M, and N. And again, the same multiple that L is of C, M will be of E, and N will be of F. Now, G and H being equal multiples of A and B, right, we made G and H that way. We can say by Proposition 515 that because parts are to each other just as they're equal multiples, that A is to B just as G is to H. Now, similarly, we can say that E is to F just as M is to N, again by Proposition 515, right, so equal multiples of E and F have been taken, namely M and N, and because parts have the same ratio to each other as they're equal multiples, E will be to F, just as M will be to N, so that, um, given that A is to B, just as E is to F, we can use Proposition 511, ratios which are the same with the same ratio, are the same with one another, to say that G will be to H, just as M is to N. Now, going with the other set, because we know that B is to C, just as D is to E, we were given that, then, alternately, by Proposition 516, B will be to D just as C is to E. And again, H and K have been taken as equal multiples of B and D respectively, which means by Proposition 515, B is to D just as H is to K. And similarly, because equal multiples of C and E have been taken, namely L and M, C is to E just as L is to M, so that again by Proposition 511, we can say that H is to K just as L is to M. And alternating this again by 516, we can say that H is to L, just as K is to M. Now, G being to H, just as M is to N, we establish that in the third step. And now, H being to L, just as K is to M, we establish that in the previous step, step 6. We have the conditions necessary to satisfy Proposition 521, that if you have three magnitudes and another three magnitudes, which taken two and two together are proportional, and if this proportion be perturbed, then if the first is greater than the third, the fourth will be greater than the sixth, and if equal, equal, and if less, less. So here we have uh, three magnitudes, G, H, and K, and another three magnitudes, L, M, and N, which taken two and two together are proportional, and this proportion is going to be perturbed. So again, we're going to have, instead of M being in the middle here, we're going to have it on the extremities. But nonetheless, if G is greater than L, K will be greater than N, and if equal, equal, and if less, less, this is again just Proposition 521. But we know that G and K are equal multiples of A and D respectively, we made them that way, and so too L and N are equal multiples of C and F respectively, again we made them that way, which means we have the conditions necessary to make a proportion. Right, so because these equal multiples are related in this sort of way, by definition 5-5, five, five, we can then say that the magnitudes of which they are equal multiples are proportional, so that we can say that A is to C just as D is to F. And this is what we set out to prove, which means we are done with the proposition, therefore, etc., Q, E, D. I've got uh, nothing to say about this proposition, so I'll uh, end the video here and move on to 524.